Yo, what's up, guys? Superior. So today I have another sort of RS tip guide for you. Uh, this quest cannot be, or not sorry, this quest. This uh, method cannot be used by basically level one defense people. I mean, what happens is this quest uh, gains access to an activity that every time you do it, lowers up your lowers up your levis, like God, lowest skill. So let's say your lowest skill is two fire making. After you do this minigame activity, you're, let's say you'll get like six fire making. So you guys have to look out just to make sure that defense isn't your lowest skill because it will level up your defense. So look out for that. <clears throat> Anyways, you're going to need a light source. I highly recommend a sapphire lantern of some sort just because it does not extinguish when you're in the caves. You'll be in the Lumbridge Caves. And then, um, yeah, I just some food as well. If you guys have not done the shortcut through this hole, then I, you guys have to bring a pickaxe with you. If you guys cannot go through this shortcut, then you have to go th through the Lumberge Swamp. Anyways, we're going to be doing the minigame Tears of Guthix. I'm not, like, a lot of people don't know about this, and it's amazing. Anyways, you have to do the quest Tears of Guthix to do it. This was legit a, a minute quest. Like, t it took a minute. I have a quest guide on it, so highly I recommend checking that out. Anyways, I'm going to quickly go through this shortcut and show you to go there. Make sure you have your sapphire lantern with you or whatever or some light source climb through this hole and then squ uh, squeeze through this hole and then just run south now there's a way there's another way around for those of you who can't go through that shortcut I'll show you guys in a bit let me I just have to get the lumber swamp map up so once you get here jump across the stepping stone you can fall here so look out and then enter this tunnel. You guys will now be in a light, lighted cave. So after that, head east. And you guys will see like a, a little wall here. You can climb down it. Oh, come on, come on. Where are we? There we go. Climb rocks. You guys have to have your left and right hand free. And they're going to see a big snake here called Juna. Alright, so I'm not sure you guys how to get there through the Lumberge Swamp. Alright, so I'm using the map from Sal's Realm of the Lumberge Swamp. So, anyways, you guys have to basically go to the Lumberge Swamp. So, from Lumbridge, head south and head to this dungeon entrance right here. You guys, again, need a light source. Then enter the dungeon. Once you guys get down here, you guys are end up in this spot right here. See where this ladder is, where my basically where my mouse is. What are you guys gonna do? You're gonna head west, then south. Just follow my cursor, and then head east, and just keep going east until you get here. And then you see there's a, there's a the stone. We jump over, jump over the stone, and go through the tunnel. Now there are wall beasts here. Wall beasts that will attack you and deal like 13 damage to you if you don't have a uh, spiky helmet on. Spiky helmets are they're not necessary. I mean, just you can bring food, and you don't have to bring the spiky helmet. You'll survive. But for those of you who aren't looking to take any damage, spiky helmets are a must. Okay, so once you're here, just tell or talk to Juna, and she'll say, tell me a story. <laughs> say okay, and you'll tell her one of your quest adventures. There, there's my Dragon Slayer quest guide. Okay, now here's the deal. Basically, you you get this certain amount of time on here. But you just see the time left right here, based on how many quest points you have, and you guys are going to be collecting from the blue stuff now what's annoying is that these things disappear really quick you can you can either have one like a stream that um stays for a while or you can have like ah so annoying trim on jagex or you can have a stream that stays that disappears right away so you guys have to just keep collecting from the blue ones the thing is if you collect from the green ones you will lose water from your bowl sorry um so that's the one thing you have to look out for. But you guys just have to keep being persistent, and you have a good bit of time based on how many quest points you have. And yeah, so you can do this once a week. This you can do this activity once a week, and you have to, or you have to, uh, and you have to, have to do at least one new quest every week, based on uh, your quest points. So oh shit! So you can see I was losing um, water there. So you always have to look out for that because basically the more water you collect, the more XP you're gonna get. And uh, 
that's why it's so important not to collect from the green water stream. So, anyways, I know, I'm sure most of you guys know this. Uh, I'm sure that somebody's making a guide on it, but I just figured I'd put it out there because it's it's really useful. It's really nice to do. It gets up your lowest skill, one that you don't like to train. I've personally I've gotten six construction levels from it. And I've gotten eight hunter levels from it, and I've only done this three times. So I was sort of lucky. Come on, I'm getting a bit unlucky. I got a, like 110 last time, but. So keep it like, just make sure, you don't really have to look at your time left. You'll walk out when your time's over. See, I'm getting a little lucky. Like sometimes you get a lucky one. No, I'll just jinx myself. Or you just, where the wall, it stays on the wall for like five minutes. No, just kidding. Like 30 seconds and you don't have to really have to pay attention. But, ah, oh, come on. It can get, it can get really annoying. It can get really annoying, so. X split. So you have a, I have a decently long one here. And now we got over 100. You will automatically walk out like this, so you can't control you walking out. And now, you'll go walk right out, you'll drink from the bowl, and you will level up your lowest skill. So as you can see, I leveled up, I think, 200 levels without doing anything. And Hunter is obviously a bitch to level up, so it's really easy to level up with. And I highly recommend doing that. I base. I think I got from. Um, I want to say 10 to 15 hunter the first time I did it, and this takes legit. Okay, I made this guide in less than seven minutes, so I. It's a great way to level up, to level up your lowest skill. But again, those of you who have defense of your lowest skill and don't want to level up, have to look out for that. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Just want a little tip guide for you. Let's hit 350 likes for another tip guide, and that's it. Peace.